Hi kids, happy first week of official summer. If you're anything like my kids, you feel like you've been on summer break for a while, but this is the first official week. So I wanted to share a Bible story for this week. This week we're going to be talking about um, 2 Samuel chapter 9 verses 1 through 13. And so you are welcome to look that up in your Bible at home. And we are going to be talking about King David. Just a little bit of background. In this story, King had, uh, David had just become king um, following in the footsteps of Saul. Now, Saul's sons did not become king after him, which is typically what happens. Um, and Saul's son, Jonathan, had actually been David's best friend and had been killed in the battles that were leading up to David being able to become king. And so um, this is a story about King David and um, the aftermath of him missing his best friend, Jonathan. Okay, you ready? King David was thinking about his best friend, Jonathan, who had died. King David asked one of his helpers, is there anyone in Jonathan's family still alive? Because I would like to be kind to that person. King David's helper said, Jonathan has a son whose name is Mephibosheth. Say that one three times fast. Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth. King David asked some of his helpers to find Mephibosheth and bring Mephibosheth back to him. When the helpers brought Mephibosheth to King David, he could see that Mephibosheth was afraid. King David said, don't be afraid. I want to be kind to you. Your father, Jonathan, and I were good friends. I would like you to eat with me at my table. So here's a picture of that. King David invited Mephibosheth to eat with him always, and he gave Mephibosheth everything that belonged to Mephibosheth's grandfather. Now, who do you think that would have been? You said King Saul? You would be right. So he gave Mephibosheth quite a bit, right? Okay, so here are some questions for you guys to talk with your families about this week as you have time. The first question is, um, do you have a friend that you miss? And um, maybe you do have a friend that has passed away. Maybe you have a friend that you haven't been able to see in a long time because of the coronavirus. Um, think about that and talk about that friend to your family members and who it is that you miss and why you miss them. Okay, ready for the second question? The second question is, have you ever been afraid of something? Um, Mephibosheth was afraid because he was King Saul's grandson and he was afraid that the new king might hurt him. Have you ever been afraid of something like that? Think of a situation where maybe you were and talk to your family about that. Um, I can think of a lot of situations in the past where I've been afraid of something. Have you ever been afraid of something and then it turned out to be something wonderful? Have you had that experience? Something that you were very afraid of turned out to be a wonderful and loving experience like what happened with Mephibosheth and David? I'd love to hear about that if so, um, because those are wonderful opportunities in life. And have you ever been surprised by something? Think about that time where maybe you were surprised by something or surprised by God even. The last question is, how do you think that Mephibosheth felt about this situation? He said that he was afraid, but what else could be going on? Think about that. I miss you guys. I hope I'll get to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.